Dear friends, today we embark on an exciting journey into the world of spirituality and self-discovery. The theme of our conversation today is why the chosen ones cannot be around large groups of people. This is a question that occupies the minds and hearts of many spiritual researchers, including the great Dolores Cannon. Dolores Cannon, a brilliant writer and researcher of reincarnation and spiritual development, unraveled the mysteries of the human soul in her works and explored the depths of our existence. She conducted sessions of regression hypnotherapy, during which her clients delved into past lives and received amazing revelations about their essence and mission on Earth. The relevance of our theme is evident in the fact that many of us feel chosen or special, yet struggle with communication in large groups of people. This raises questions and prompts searches for answers, which we will try to resolve today. Inspired by the works of Dolores Cannon and her perspective on this important aspect of spiritual life, let's dive into the world of her research together and discover new horizons of understanding ourselves and the world around us. In Dolores Cannon's works, the concept of the Chosen Ones reflects the idea of a group of people who embody special qualities and a mission on Earth. They often feel like outsiders in this world, experiencing difficulties in interacting with large groups of people due to their deep inner wisdom and understanding of life. The Chosen Ones have the ability to see being ordinary reality and often feel the need to help and lead others paving the way for them towards enlightenment and spiritual development. One of the characteristics of the Chosen Ones is their ability for deep self-awareness and self-realization. They strive to unfold their inner potential and understand their unique role in the world. For the Chosen Ones, everyday mundane problems may seem insignificant, as their mind and soul aspire to higher and deeper goals. They often experience a sense of loneliness and inability to find their place among ordinary people, seeking support and understanding from those who share their spiritual values and worldview. In Dolores Cannon's works, the Chosen Ones represent a special group of people who play an important role in the evolution of humanity. They are the bearers of light and truth, contributing to spiritual awakening and societal changes. For the Chosen Ones, interacting with large groups of people can be a real challenge due to the peculiarities, their energy and perception of the world. They often feel inadequate in crowds, as their inner world and thought structure differ from commonly accepted standards. The Chosen Ones often have more subtle arc fields and energetic vibrations, which can cause dissonance with the coarser energies present in society. Their sensitivity to the environment and empathy can lead to energy overload and feelings of isolation in large groups. Moreover, the Kosen Ones often possess the ability for intense energy transformation, which can cause conflicts or incompatibility with the energy of other people. Their presence can evoke various reactions from others, from admiration to misunderstanding or even fear. These communication difficulties can create a sense of loneliness and misunderstanding for the Kosen Ones highlighting their uniqueness and distinctiveness within society. However, understanding and accepting their uniqueness, as well as finding a balance in communication with others, can help the Kosen Ones find their place and make their unique contribution to the world. The spiritual path of the Chosen Ones is a unique journey of the soul that differs from the path of ordinary people. They come to Earth with a special purpose and mission, which may sometimes be unclear even to the Chosen Ones themselves. Their path is connected with realizing themselves as part of a higher cosmic order and striving for spiritual enlightenment. Unlike ordinary people, the Chosen Ones often have a deep sense of purpose and mission, which may be related to helping others in their spiritual development or bringing light and understanding to the world. Their path can be complex and convoluted, as they face various challenges and trials that help them grow and develop spiritually. The goal of the Chosen Ones on Earth is to bring their unique energy and understanding to the world. 
helping others awaken their inner light and realize their own uniqueness and value. Their spiritual mission can be challenging and often misunderstood by others, but they strive to achieve harmony and balance in the world, helping others and themselves on the path of spiritual development. Awareness of one's energy is a process that involves reflecting on and understanding one's own energy, which determines our state and interaction with the surrounding world. This is a key aspect for the chosen ones, as their energy often differs from the energy of most people. To become aware of one's energy, it is important to learn to listen attentively to one's body and emotions. This allows us to understand which situations or people evoke positive or negative emotions in us, and how these emotions are related to our energy. It is also important to pay attention to physical sensations, such as muscle tension or relaxation, warmth or cold in the body, to understand how our energy reacts to different situations. Awareness of one's energy also includes awareness of one's thoughts and beliefs. Often, thoughts and beliefs can create a certain energy in our body and around us, understanding which thoughts and beliefs support our high energy, and which ones can deplete it, helps to more effectively manage our energy. Awareness of one's energy is also related to awareness of one's needs and boundaries. This helps to establish healthy relationships with others where you can express your needs and protect your boundaries without depleting your energy. Overall, awareness of one's energy is a process of self-discovery and self-development that helps the chosen ones better understand themselves and their uniqueness and more effectively manage their energy in everyday life. One of the primary techniques of spiritual protection is visualizing a protective shield. This practice involves imagining oneself surrounded by a glowing shield that reflects negative energies and protects them from external influences. This practice helps chosen ones preserve their energy and avoid the negative influence of the environment. Another important technique is working with energy centers, or chakras. Chakras play a key role in the energy balance of chosen ones. Practices aimed at cleansing and activating chakras help strengthen spiritual protection and maintain energetic balance. Additionally, it is important for chosen ones to learn to recognize and remove negative energies that may accumulate in their energy field. This can be done through various cleansing practices such as meditation, rituals, or working with elements of nature. The practice of meditation is a key tool for those seeking spiritual growth and evolution. In the context of the chosen ones, individuals who often feel alienated from society due to their unique vision and life path, meditation becomes an essential component for maintaining internal harmony and balance one of the key aspects of meditation for the chosen ones is the development of mindfulness. This practice helps them be more present, aware of their thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations without judgment. This is especially important when the chosen ones are faced with negative emotions or difficult situations, helping them find peace and clarity in the mind. It is also important for the chosen ones to use meditation to maintain high levels of energy and protect themselves from negative influences. Visualization of a protective shield or working with the chakras can help the chosen ones strengthen their energetic aura and avoid energy depletion. Furthermore, meditation can help the chosen ones develop a deeper understanding of their mission and purpose on earth. By connecting with their inner self through meditation, the chosen ones can gain clarity about their place in the world and the direction of their development. Overall, the practice of meditation is a necessary tool for the chosen ones, helping them find inner harmony, protect their energy, and understand their unique role in the spiritual development of humanity. Limiting contact with negative energy is an important practice for the chosen ones, helping them preserve their energy and spiritual balance in a world where there are many negative influences. 
One way to limit contact with negative energy is by consciously choosing the places and situations where the chosen ones spend their time. They can avoid places with dense negative energy, such as crowded places or places with low vibrations. The chosen ones can also limit contact with people who emit negative energy. This does not mean completely avoiding communication, but rather limiting the time and energy they spend on such interactions. It is also important to be aware of one's boundaries and to be able to say no to situations and people who may negatively affect the chosen ones. This allows them to protect their energy and stay true to their spiritual practice and goals. Limiting contact with negative energy helps the chosen ones preserve their energy and spiritual balance, allowing them to effectively fulfill their spiritual mission and stay on the path of spiritual growth and enlightenment. Support from like-minded individuals plays an important role in the lives of the chosen ones, helping them feel understood and supported in their spiritual path. Like-minded individuals are people who share their beliefs, values, and aspirations, creating a strong energetic connection and a sense of belonging. One of the main sources of support from like-minded individuals is communication with people who share their spiritual beliefs and goals. These can be friends, colleagues, or members of the spiritual community with whom the chosen ones can discuss their ideas, ask questions, and receive support. Like-minded individuals can also be a source of inspiration and motivation for the chosen ones as they can share their experiences and successes in spiritual development. This helps the chosen ones feel part of a larger community and understand that they are not alone in their quest for spiritual enlightenment. Support from like-minded individuals can also manifest in practical help and advice. For example, like-minded individuals can suggest new spiritual practices or techniques that can help the chosen ones unlock their potential and achieve new levels of spiritual development. By following these practical tips, the chosen ones can effectively deal with the difficulties of interacting with large groups of people and maintain their energy and spiritual balance. The success stories of the chosen ones in finding balance between their mission and interacting with others are inspiring examples of spiritual growth and evolution. They demonstrate how chosen ones can overcome the difficulties of interacting with large groups of people while remaining true to their spiritual purpose. One such example is Jane, who has always felt a special connection to nature and the spiritual world since childhood. Instead of isolating herself from the world, she decided to use her gifts to help others. She became a psychologist and a specialist in spiritual development, helping people find harmony between their inner world and external reality. Another example is Mark, who has been fascinated by studying various spiritual practices and traditions since childhood. He faced difficulties in communicating with people due to their misunderstanding of his interests. However, Thanks to his persistent pursuit and belief in his mission, he was able to create a community of like-minded individuals where everyone feels accepted and understood. These success stories demonstrate that chosen ones can find balance between their mission and interacting with others if they remain true to themselves and do not deviate from their beliefs. They become a source of inspiration and motivation for all those seeking their path to spiritual enlightenment. We live in a world where every day brings us new challenges and opportunities for growth. Sometimes it may seem like we are facing a mountain of insurmountable problems, but it is important to remember that every obstacle is a chance to become stronger and wiser. Each of us has tremendous potential within us, capable of overcoming any difficulty. It is important to simply believe in yourself and move forward, no matter what. Remember that even the longest journey begins with the first step, and every step you take brings you closer to your goals. Do not be afraid of mistakes and failures, they are an integral part of the path to success. It is important to learn from your mistakes and move forward with experience and wisdom. Allow yourself to dream and aspire for more. Remember that your potential knows no bounds, and all you need is belief in yourself and perseverance in achieving your goals. Believe in yourself 
and the world will open its doors to you. The conclusion of this video summarizes the key concepts discussed in the context of the chosen ones. According to the work of Dolores Cannon, it is important to emphasize that the chosen ones play a unique and significant role in the spiritual development of humanity and their mission on earth. Understanding and supporting the chosen ones is a key aspect of their successful mission fulfillment. These special individuals need understanding and respect from others to continue their path of spiritual awakening and development. Help and support from society and those around them can help the chosen ones find a balance between their mission and interacting with people, as well as help them fully realize their potential. It is important to remember that each person is unique and has their own mission and purpose on earth, supporting each other in spiritual growth and understanding. Each other's differences can help create a more harmonious and conscious society.